We are still in Large Mix Farm, Nwoya, and I'm right here with Arthur, who is a full-time farmer. He's doing pineapple farming. He's actually doing it in large number. He's having about 10 acres. So today, if you're someone who wants to do pineapple farming, I know you may be asking yourself some question. So I want us to know from Arthur today some of the things that you must know if you want to do pineapple farming. Something that can really help your pineapple to grow well from the beginning to the end. What are some of those things that someone has to know? Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Charles, and uh, our viewers. Um, there are quite a number of things uh, that one has to put into consideration. First of all, uh, the quality of soil. It's yeah. very important. Uh, you should be able to plant in uh, soils that are well drained or well, that get well drained. Not soils when you plant and you find they can be waterlogged. For instance, avoid swampy uh, gardens and clay gardens. Because yeah. clay, when you plant, you know, water does not go through. It just remains there like that. Yeah. But sandy soils... Whether it is a stony area, loamy soils, all those will be able to handle the pineapple to grow very well. So the soils are very important for a person out there to master. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, of course, uh, the preparation. Make sure that you dig and loosen your soils very well. Because as you plant, as you keep on adjusting and adding soils on the, on the pineapple rolls, that means you'll have prepared them earlier and they are more porous and soft. So that when you're pulling the soils along the pineapple, it, you know, comes quite easily. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't do that, when you start hitting the soils and you're trying to pull it, you find the grounds are hard, which is not good. Yeah. Also, when the soils are soft, it helps the water to penetrate uh, the ground. And remember, when it is raining, the pineapple tries as much as possible to suck in a lot of water. Oh, and so okay. it helps. Yeah. So it is for the benefit of the pineapple, which will in turn benefit the farmer when he does get what? A big crop. Yeah. The other thing to note is that there are a number of varieties uh, of pineapples. Yeah. So you need to know the type of variety that you're planting. Here well, at Lad Mixed Farm, we are using uh, the Smooth Cayenne variety. Oh, okay. Smooth Cayenne is a variety that grows in big size. It is a variety uh, that can give you multiple fruits over years. Mm. It is a variety that brings in slips and can enable you to propagate and expand on your garden. Oh, okay. which is very important. Yeah. It is characterized by having thorns at the tip of the pineapple, yeah, majorly. Okay. You'll find the other sides may be there, but majorly it will be at the tip, yeah. and the other parts you find more or less smooth. Yeah, yeah. But then at the tip it has. Oh, okay. Now that is the variety that we're using. Yeah. But you'll find there are other variations of smooth cayenne, but that's why I tell people that when you're looking for that variety, please know what you're going for, and don't regret after you know, months of waiting. Mm. The other variety uh, that is grown in Uganda, because they are majorly three, smooth cayenne. The second one is called MD2. MD2 is also grown not so much as smooth cayenne. Uh, it's majorly also liked in Kenya. But for it, it is smooth all the way. It doesn't have thorns whatsoever. Oh, okay, yeah. But I, I, in terms of sizes, I've not investigated so much around it. Mm. But it is another variety that we have in Uganda. Then the third variety is what they call queens. Queens, it's generally small in nature. It turns very yellow and very sweet, very small. Yeah, okay. But the disadvantage with it, sometimes it takes longer and sometimes may not give you another shoot mm. when you harvest. Mm. So you find value for money after one crop. Yeah. You may have to start over afresh in order if you want to grow your what? Uh, to start another, uh, you know, pineapple garden. Okay. So these are the major three. Now, it's important that you get to know how to handle them. As I told you, you can plant 
during the rainy season but yeah. you can also plant during the dry season yeah depending on the amount of time you have and if you want to be engaged in other crops during the rainy season it pineapple is a crop that you can grow even during the dry season oh. and you will not regret yeah yes please so you you have mentioned the, the varieties the types does that mean this type that we have in the farm here is the best among those three Yes, too. In my opinion, for me, after doing my research, yeah. uh, I zero down on this one. First of all, it grows into a big size. Mm. And you know, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a farmer, or even as Ugandans, we want value for money. Yeah, when you're sure. paying for something, you want something that is big, but at the same time, sweet. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And so, what better things to go for than... Because when you put it and you put these big sizes, even if you have 1,000 on the truck, mm. unless you are going to retail it at 3,000, that's some good money for a farmer. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Instead of having so many but tiny ones. You see? Mm. So for us, we went for these ones. But also knowing that it appreciates the soils yeah. uh, where we've, we've been able to, to, to grow it, as you can see. Yeah. And that's why we zero down on the smooth cayenne. Okay. Yes, please. Well, wow, that's amazing for someone who wants to do farming, doing pineapple, that should know. Mm. Uh, you've talked of at least knowing the, t the right types of seedling. Mm. Any other thing that someone must know as they find okay. into it? Farming uh, pineapples, another interesting thing is I tell people that pineapple is, we call it um, a lazy man's crop. Oh. Why we refer to it as a lazy man's crop? Yeah. Um, it is a pineapple. You don't. It does not need spraying. Mm -hmm. That maybe there are certain, oh, okay. you know, uh, kind of uh, diseases affecting it. So it's it, not there, totally. Uh, not necessarily totally, yeah. because for instance, I'll tell you that mm. on this farm, I've got two challenges. Yeah. One, which I've noticed so far, yeah. is a infestation uh, being bitten by ants oh, okay. but even now when i have some anthills in the farm yeah i've only had like three or four pineapples mm. that have been eaten their root system mm. you see yeah and i realized that it may not be a major hassle so the only solution if you have it get an anthill and put some medicine to kill the ants in that particular anthill oh, okay. and then you'll have resolved that yeah the second one i got is when um, I planted and I saw one, or I think around four cases, mm. you see it withering and drying off and rotting off. Mm. So I had to ring where I got the seedlings from and they told me it ha sometimes happens when you plant it in an area which is too fertile. Oh, there is a okay. way it has a bearing yeah. on some. But you find in an acre of 15,000 mm. and you have lost around three or four, yeah. it's not something to worry about. And he told me don't yeah. worry about that. Sure. You will realize that there are a few cases and it is normal. He told me. Mm to yeah. take it as a normal thing. Okay. The beauty with the pineapple, it is not something that is going to be hit hard by hailstorm. Mm. I had the hailstorm affecting my the chili garden, yeah. and I had to, to harvest everything and put it aside because the exporter is not going to take that when it has some blemish on it, mm. cracks and so forth. Mm. So a pineapple, as you see it, it is a hard crop. Even if hailstorm hits it, it will remain intact. Yeah. That's why you find in some cases, you find some patches yeah. uh, uh, on yeah. the leaves yeah. And I think it's because of the hailstorm. Oh, but okay. the fruit itself, you're not going to be bothered and yeah. get worried about what? Yeah. About hailstorm mm. affecting your garden. And so as I was telling you, it's a lazy man's crop. Yeah. You don't have to spray that there's a particular disease. Mm. You're not going to be worried about watering. Yeah, that maybe it is so hot. Yes, if you can, you can do it. But just know that it will wither through. It will sail through mm. the, the dry season yeah. and pick up. Now, when it starts raining, it kind of fast sucks in. You see it growing very fast as yeah. it tries to quench its thirst due to the dry, but it will not dry out. Oh, okay. And so, but when it flowers during the dry season, the fruit may not be as big, mm. which is normal. As I told you, when you plant an acre, expect it to have a prolonged period of flowering. Others are ripening, others are being harvested, which is a good thing for a farmer because you're not going to be overwhelmed yes. by 15,000 fruits at a go. Exactly. It gives you ample time yeah. uh, to look after the garden, to harvest, and so it becomes a cycle mm. of what? Um, for a farmer uh, to, you know, uh, to experience. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, wow, that, that's, that's really nice. Mm. And uh, so you actually have to only get prepared a garden, get the seedlings and put you know you don't need to do a lot of work uh, you don't need to do a lot of work that's yeah. why as i told you on my uh, youtube channel admix farm mm -hmm. if you go on that channel you'll be able to see a lot of videos that i've made around pineapple yes i've been I've, following uh-huh yeah. varieties 
how to do the planting, how to do the spacing, mm. and so forth. Yeah. You can be able to dig out uh, most of this information, and you know, it can be able to help you. Yeah. So it is a crop. Actually, pineapples also have what they call selective herbicide. Oh. In other words, if you're in a region where you are having challenges getting human labor mm. to do the weeding, yeah. some people might be having challenges uh, coming to participate in the weeding because of the thorns, just get a metrin 50% is a selective herbicide. Mm. Uh, it's actually done by Bukola, and then you can be able to, to what? Uh -huh. To spray. It's advisable that you do the spraying when the weeds are still low, and you will not see your garden. That is if you want to go inorganic. Mm. If you want to go organic, just use the, you try to use hands. Because here, mm -hmm. we're trying to go organic, and we, we what I do, I buy these uh, leather gloves for the workers. Yes, I yes. give them uh, jeans uh -huh. and uh, long sleeve shirts, but I give them the leather, uh, you know, yes, uh, uh, um, yeah. gloves. Yes. So you find when they're weeding, they're able to touch everywhere, and only that you need to have, but an acre, even if you have one person, can mm. be able to look after it well. Mm. If you have an acre, uh, two acres or three, just put in two or three people. Yeah. They'll be able to look. And when you look at the amount of money you're going to invest, mm. say even if you say that per acre you're injecting in 100,000 for weeding, and you have three acres, and they're going to do maybe 1.2 uh, per acre per year, mm. and that is uh, 3.6, and the uh, 3.6, uh, maybe around 5 million shillings. Yeah. Let's say 6 million shillings yeah. for three acres, to weed on a monthly basis for 18 months. Uh, but when you look at 6 million shillings, and I've told you, you're going to have 15,000 fruits per acre. Yes, yes, hmm? yes. One acre alone can cater for all that expense. Mm. It is not even halfway the cost of what? Yeah. Uh, of what you'll have, you have, you have incurred. And then you have the other ones mm. uh, to yourself. And that's the fruit alone. We have not talked about the slips, the seedlings. Yes. We have not talked about the second round of harvest third round of harvest, mm. much as they'll also be having. And remember, as it grows, it starts covering up and bringing more shoots and what? So you find the garden having less, you find the, the weeds becoming weaker because they cannot compete so much for the light. Mm. And so you find the pineapple becomes the dominant crop in the garden. Yeah. And that's very, very good and healthy for a farmer. Wow. Yes. Oh, that, that's amazing to know. And I believe if you're thinking of starting pineapple farming, these tips actually can really help you a lot. If you have any question, you can drop them in the comment section. As I also has a, a YouTube channel, by the way, of which I'll share the link. Mm. It's called Lad Mix Farm, which you can just search also and you'll be able to get good information about pineapple. Mm. I think those are amazing. Exactly, and we are encouraging people out there. Yeah. If you want seedlings, just get in touch mm. with Lad Mix Farm. And she can also maybe put our numbers on the screen there yeah, on, as yeah. it, as it displays this information. Uh -huh. We are able to provide you uh, the seedlings. Uh, only that for us, we start from a minimum of one acre. Mm. Because we are trying to promote this crop. We want commercial farmers oh, in, yes, this, yes. in this crop. Because we know what it can do. Uh -huh. We know the income you can get from this. Yeah. And you're not going to regret it, you see. Mm. Then you can get the income from that and use it to diversify your, your production into other ventures on a particular farm. True. Yes, please. True. Yeah, that, that's okay. I'm going to leave his number so that you can reach out and get to learn more mm. about pineapple. Thank you so much for those information. Mm. And uh, thank you also for watching. This is the Ugandan farmer. I am Layo Charles. And I'll still be bringing you more farming content. See you in our next video. Thank you.